students. Today I'm going to show you how to create an ePortfolio in Canvas and upload some files to it. So um, if you go to your Canvas and log in, click on the account up here in the top left, and then you'll see the option for ePortfolios. So if you click on this, um, we're going to create a new uh, ePortfolio. So this one's going to be for Engineering 120, the midterm project. So we will make this and it's going to take you to this welcome to the ePortfolio. So I'm going to click on um, go to the actual ePortfolio and here um, this is just the welcome page. If you'd like to organize this into different pages you can but if you, let me just show you how to upload your um, MATLAB files here. So um, if you click on edit it takes you to this. You can rename this to let's say we want to call this um, project files and um, we're going to upload our uh, MATLAB code so you go to file upload here on the right side and when you click on that there is a new box that um, is created down at the bottom and we're going to select choose file and this will open up um, a window and you can go through and you can select your code so I'm going to select my first.m file in, and do upload file and then I'll save that. Next I'm going to click edit again. I actually have to click this again and then it will create a new um, image and file upload. So here's where, where I, did, I uploaded my noise.m. Here I'm going to choose my next file and I'm going to upload this grade.m. So I choose it, I upload, and then I can do another upload. And this is going to create a new box. So I choose my next file is parallel.m. I'm going to upload the file, and then I'm going to save. And here it's going to show all of um, my I have three files here and you can add as many as you like and um, if you generated some plots and you'd like to upload those you can do that here as well and then um, next the way you're going to submit this if you go back to the portfolio dashboard there's a link here to your um, portfolio so if you copy this link and submit this via Canvas or email, then this will give your instructor access to your ePortfolio where you have all of your um, submissions. So let me know if you have any questions on how to create your ePortfolio and upload your code for the midterm project.